Hey, hey, what's shaking bacons? So I'm gonna do a little thrift haul today that I got yesterday. Oh, it was a good day. First, we're gonna put on some hottie lip plumper. Sterling is gonna sniff my leg. I'm gonna light some incense back here. Do, do, do. There is actually a local place that makes incense. I don't know how hard it is to make, but I'm like very obsessed with it. I just love going there. I haven't been there in a couple weeks, but I have to let this burn down just a little titch. I actually got that little tray thrifting, so yeah. You guys, I cannot tell you how like, happy thrifting makes me. It is just like, whew, so good for the soul. And I actually had to change the necklace that I was wearing before this because I wanted to wear this one because there's something that I got thrifting yesterday that's going to be perfect. So a little bit like of a tidbit for thrifting. A lot of people are like, oh my goodness, like how do you find so many good things? Like um, you're always so lucky. Like what thrift store do you go to? Like think I must go to like the special thrift store to like find all these hidden gems that are just like waiting for me and like jumping off the shelf like into my cart when I um get in the thrift store no that's not really the case uh i feel like either you have to go in there with a plan so if you find something on pinterest tiktok instagram whatever and like have inspo i always have like an inspo album on my phone and then i also have it in my notes of my phone so like what i'm looking for so um something that i'm always looking for is like denim jackets i was looking for flannels for a while to like bleach and distress um Oh, I was looking for like blocks that were like different letters. I look for like different letters like this and then any crafts that I want to do. So like yesterday I was thinking, okay, like what am I looking for that I need? Because I'm trying not to buy things that I don't like necessarily like need. Of course, I probably don't like need anything, but you know what I mean? Like trying to make things a little bit more useful. So I really want to use my herbs that I have outside of my herb garden ones that I'm going to like dry and use for like different spices and stuff. It's like I need an herb drying rack because last year I just felt like they didn't like dry great and I'm still like new to this. This is like one of my first years doing this kind of thing. So I had that in my mind when I went in there and then whatever else. So you just have to think of it. So let's just say if you see like a pot holder, you have to think of other ways that you can use it. Like a piece of fabric, you can put it on the back of a flannel, you can use it for a placemat, you can use it on the wall, you can use it underneath a lamp, you know, just like thinking of many different ways on how to use it. So with that being said, I'm going to show you guys what I got. Uh, I got this pillow. I don't know. Oh, it's a hot air balloon. That's what it, it took me like looking in the camera at it because I was looking at it yesterday in the store. And I'm like, what is this? But now I see it's a hot air balloon. So I'm gonna put this in the camper. This was 150. Oh, sorry, buddy. But like household items were like 50% off or something. I think I paid $35 for everything I have here. And then this is just this little thing. It's very simple. But um, Charlie, my cat, has kidney failure. He's had it for a while, but we just found out that he has mega esophagus. So we have to like raise his bowls up. So I thought this would be nice. That's another thing that I went in there looking for. Something to use for raising his bowls. I'm probably going to spray paint that just a cute color because that's just how I am. So this is what I found for the herb drying rack. I'm fairly certain you put cookies on it or no, because cookies would fall through. I, I I don't really know what it's for. What did she write on here? Come on up. Come on. Oh, it's a stand for a 13 by 9 pan. So are you coming to look at your little stand that mom got you? I know. Are you feeling better? You haven't come up to say hi to mom in a while like this. And then I got this thing that I think is used for some kind of like craft to like weave in and out so I'm gonna like cut that and put that on there to like dry my herbs on so I think that will be be fun and then I got this whole box of stuff here <laughs> I didn't want to get a bag so I was like I'm just gonna use that so this is a sewing box the sewing box was 450 but it might have been a household thing I'm not really sure what exactly she marked down so obviously it comes with a little top thing and I thought this would be really cool I might put all my beads in here because there's really cool like different trays and things like that. Um, I've been into like beading, like I've been doing the um, driftwood wind chimes for a while and I did like a hat band and I just really like 
beading different things. That's fun. You can put beads on your plants and yeah, I just love it. So then I also was thinking of that in my head when I was in there and then I found this little tin. This tin was 125 and it's a two piece. So there's like this top part and then this bottom part. So I was like, that'd be kind of cool to put different things in there. And then I don't know, there was somebody who had donated a bunch of license plates I have never been to Arkansas and I don't know anybody from Arkansas, but I just saw this and I was like, Ooh, I have like a lot of bright colors in my house and I love like different things and I really like signs. So I was like, Hmm, this will be kind of, kind of neat. And I thought it was cool cause it was like 91. So it's a little old. Well, I'm 30 and yeah, that's a year after I was born. And then I always look through all the sections, no matter, Ooh, buddy, you have the snot going today. Hoofda. You're really snotty today. Hoofda. I could just like feel him like blowing snot everywhere. Um, but I look in all the sections, no matter if it's a woman's, children's, men's, misses, all this, all the sizes. Cause I feel like if I find something, I will like somehow make it work. And even if it's like, if you're in the kids section and find like a graphic tee, you can cut it up and put it on a flannel or whatever, or wear oversized shirts. So I found this one. I'm so obsessed with it. It is a two X, I think. No, an extra large. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to use it as like a t-shirt dress, sleep dress, whatever. I, I just really like it. Like yesterday, the color was for sure like yellow bright things. And then I found this little horse. Oh, the shirt was three bucks. Um, found this little horse. I saw him quite a few times. So at this certain thrift store, they have um, like a section for like vintage and antique things. And some of the things are a little bit higher priced because obviously they're like more like antique -y things. Um, I know, you're a good boy. So I have seen this horse quite a few times and I saw it yesterday and the thing that came to my head is, ooh, I can use him for Christmas. I really like it. And I'm trying not to buy like new things for Christmas. I just want like vintage old things and to really like, I don't know, make like cool little pieces around the house. Bless you. So that says it's a vintage 1975 horse. He was $6. I know a little expensive, but I've seen him quite a few times and I'm just like, I like it, but of course I can use it for any other time. And it's just like kind of unique and different. I don't know. I just liked it. And then the next thing is kind of like one of those things that I feel like if I find one thing, I find like 10 of the same things. And I don't know why I just get, like, get on a kick like that. But when I saw these, I was like, Ooh, that would be super cool to put underneath plants. Like you have like, you put this down first and then you put like a plate down and then you put your plant on it. So it's kind of, it gives like that texture and like that layered look. So these are just like little like pot holders or like things you put under pots and they're, they were literally like 50 cents, 25 cents each, but they're like bundled together. And I thought that'd be kind of cool to give like as a present as well. Like, cause I like to make like little like baskets and things like that. So I just, I really liked some of these. This was probably like my favorite one. I really, well, no, actually the one underneath it is my fave. This one right here. I thought that was so neat just to like put there. And then this is actually kind of like, I have some like Christmas stuff like this as well. So I feel like I can use this for like all seasons. So that's something else I got. And then this is what I was talking about. Like if you see a piece of fabric or something, you can use it for so many different things. Granted, it's like half, like, it's like kind of like a half pillowcase, but like, look at how pretty that is. It's like velvet. So you can use this as like a table runner. You can put it on your wall, put a frame around it, put it on the back of a flannel. You can use it on the floor for like a carpet underneath a dresser or something. So many different things. I just like love thinking outside the box and it has like a couple different like layers. So I'm thinking somebody tried to make something and just got like sick of it or something. But then it's like, this is like kind of patchwork together. I don't know. I just thought it was super neat. So I got that. And then this was up at the checkout when I went to go check out and I was like, oh my goodness, is this for sale or is this somebody's? And they're like, oh, they didn't want it or whatever. This was two bucks. I'm like obsessed with it. I have a lot of different things like this in my house. I think this is like some kind of Swedish saying. I, I'm honestly not certain, but I have some prints that are like this, that it's like Swedish thing. But also this, you can use it for so many different things. Like you can put things on it. You can put it um, like up like this against like a window. I was going to say on a wall, but I guess there is like a little, well, the hook is like broke, but you know what I mean? So many different things. You just have to kind of think outside the, think outside the box. And then of course, like my little sewing box here. And I kind of want to spray paint it. I think it'd be fun to like spray paint either like a mustard yellow or like a bright orange or something. 
And then these are the two that I found right when I walked in that I was like, oh, I love them. So I have like this little um, chain here and I'm always like looking for pendants for it. Of course, like this is not the same metal, but I could just put like a little piece through here and put this on there. This is actually, it was an earring and then I lost the other earring. So I just kind of hooked it on there, but that would be fun to put on here to kind of like switch up or I can put it wherever. I just really liked it. It was a dollar. And then this little guy was 50 cents. I'm just gonna take this off there. You can get it off. Uh, we'll show it. I just thought it was kind of neat. I thought of like when we were in high school, we used to like take a little piece of our hair back here and like put little like hair wraps in and like put different things in. And like, this is like a little like charm that I feel like I would have put on one of those hair wraps. But I was like, I do so much like different crafting things. And I was like, this guy is just kind of cute. So. If I could like put him on here, a choker, whatever. I just, I really liked him. So yeah, this is my, my little haul. I feel like I haven't gone to the thrift store in a really long time because it's summer. It just kind of gets crazy. And I was just trying to get rid of things. Okay, give your mom a hug. Okay, yes, I love you, Ooh, buddies. I just want you to live forever and not be sick. F kidney failure, right? And mega esophagus. Nobody. It's fine. You can snot in my ear all you want. <laughs> he has not been lovey like the past week. So I'm just very, maybe he's feeling a little bit better. Not like he's going to get cured or whatever, but um, I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, I brought a whole <clears throat> truckload because we like redid our kitchen well, not really redid it, just painted the kitchen cabinets and just kind of like rearranged some things. Me and my mom did that this spring and I brought like a truckload to this um, thrift store that I went to probably like a month, month and a half ago. Just random stuff through the whole house. I've been like purging the whole house for like, well, pretty much since the beginning of this year. And I just wanted enough to be able to like bring there. And it's 45 minutes from my house. So, okay, yes, buddy, I see you. I love you so much. Um, But yeah, so it's... 45 minutes from our house so it's not like easy to get there and I want like a little bit of time to like shop and usually I had to go to a doctor's appointment there yesterday so I was like okay and then I think the last time I had to go there was some reason why I had to go down there it wasn't a doctor's appointment it was something maybe for work or something I had to go down there but um yeah okay buddy here let's just sit right down right here you can snuggle up your mom right here he was like sometimes he gets so crazy and he'll like almost like rip out my earrings and stuff just because he I don't know he gets like so lovey and crazy um but yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed that thrift haul i'm gonna try to do more videos on here um and get back in the the groove of things so if there's something that you guys want to see uh, let me know so i have some ideas but i will talk to you guys later and hopefully you have a great day bye